Attorney General Faris al Rawi says he will await an official response from Chief Secretary of the Tobago House of Assembly, Farley Augustine, on whether or not the Deputy Chief Secretary, Watson Duke, will step down as leader of the Public Services Association. Politics. Well, first of all, the cabinet, the THA, all of us are guided by the laws under which we operate. The THA Act is very clear on its position, in my respectful view. Um, I will, uh, of course, allow my, uh, my colleague, Mr. Um, Augustine, in the sense that he is the head of the THA, to form his views and opinions. And I must abide by a process, so let me await his response. Suffice it to say, a response to the media is not a response to the Attorney General's letter to him. The Attorney General wrote to the Chief Secretary on Thursday, cautioning him that under Trinidad and Tobago's laws, Mr. Duke cannot hold two posts. Mr. Augustine said he has given Mr. Duke a timeline of three months to resign from the PSA. On the topic of vaccination uptake in Trinidad and Tobago, the Attorney General says he would like to see more public support for government's vaccination program from the United National Congress. Safe zones are places where you can go to a bar, you can go to a restaurant, you can go to a theater, you can not have your mask on while you're eating, everybody's vaccinated. Do you know one place that is not a safe zone? The Parliament of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Can you imagine that? So if in the Parliament of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago we don't have a safe zone because Mrs. Passard Bicessa will not say if she's vaccinated or not, how can she possibly be setting an example for Trinidad and Tobago?